Hi, you're looking great today. Have you been working out? I've got some great tips I could share with you. There are different kinds of politeness. Americans tend to be polite by being open with other people, praising them and sharing information with them. For British people, it's a bit different. Actually, it's the opposite. Being polite means keeping to yourself, not intruding on others, and letting everyone get on with their own business. The trouble is, what's polite in one place can seem impolite or even rude in another. When you're aware of the differences, you're more prepared for different styles of interaction. Imagine you're on a business trip and you have to pass the time with someone you don't know. If they're American, they're quite likely to be friendly, over-friendly, a British person might say, they're happy to chat about themselves and to ask about you. They're being polite. If the person is British, they may not tell you much about themselves and they're unlikely to ask you too much about yourself. Things are kept less personal. Though they may seem detached, cold, an American might say, they too are being polite, but in a British way. One way we see this cultural difference is with praise. Americans are often quick to praise and will do so with obvious enthusiasm. British people tend to be more reserved about it. Where an American says, great job team, high five, a British person might say, well done everybody, carry on. How they receive compliments also differs. Americans tend to receive praise positively whereas British people are more likely to defer it or play it down. They may even be embarrassed by it. Neither style is better than the other. They're just different ways of being polite. But it's important to be aware of the difference because it can make communication easier. In our next video, we'll look at understatement and irony in different varieties of English. I'll see you then.